Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. And the media exposed and debunked again, according to Rick Glacier. Uh, you know, this is what he stated. He said he talked to two well-respected boxing writers last night, and they both said the tickets to Saturday's fight are, you know, as dead as dead can be. And judging by uh, the post uh, asking if boxing enthusiasts were going to buy the Wilder Ortiz pay-per-view fight, it's dead on arrival. And you know what? As it should be. You know, he said Fox will not be happy. This will show to be um, swimming in red ink. It's a financial disaster. So, look, let's just be honest and unbiased. We all know that Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz is a fight no one was asking for. And yet Deontay Wilder took this fight as a method to duck Anthony Joshua, turning down a $120 million contract. And then you get biased new media coming out stating that, you know, and, you know, Canelo Alvarez ticket sales are, are, you know, are declining. And when this guy did an $8 million gate, $8 million, let's be honest and unbiased, Canelo Alvarez took home $35 million and his gate was $8 million. Wilder can't do a gate worth a, a chicken dinner. Let's be honest and unbiased. He can't do a gate worth a chicken dinner. And no one wants to see him fight an 8,000-year-old mummy named Luis Ortiz in a fight. Let's be honest and unbiased. All this is, at the end of the day, is Deontay Wilder, you know, being pumped up by a biased media who are fanboys of the PBC. And, and that's all this is. This is not a legitimate fight. This is not a fight anyone wanted to see. This is a fight that, you know, no one even really is going to believe that's going to be that competitive. And if Luis Ortiz somehow shocks or beats Deontay Wilder, then that just speaks to how trash Deontay Wilder is. You know, let's be honest and unbiased about this. You know, we, we know that Deontay Wilder is no face of boxing. We know that he has no place being mentioned with Canelo Alvarez, being no place being mentioned with Anthony Joshua, because these guys are the two top fighters, the well-known fighters in the world as far as sales and bringing in fans, putting butts in seats let's be honest and unbiased there's two fighters around the world that can put people in seats and that's canelo alvarez and anthony joshua whether you like them or not these guys put people in seats these guys boost ratings these guys can bring in the crowds deontay wilder has no appeal because people understand and they can see through it they understand that Deontay Wilder pumped up his resume with nothing but tomato cans. And then when he stepped up against, you know, Tyson Fury, he lost, really. And you know what? They had to rob Tyson Fury of the victory uh, when he stepped up against Luis Ortiz the first time. They had to save him from the ref. It, it, you know, it, they just keep doing things to try to push along this narrative that Deontay Wilder is better than he is when he has never beaten an elite or a top level opponent because he didn't knock out Tyson Fury that went the distance and they had to rob Fury on the card so let's be honest and unbiased Luis Ortiz has never been a world champion never been recognized as elite let's be honest and unbiased never beat a top level fighter period so if we're going to be honest and unbiased Deontay Wilder is overhyped in the, in the biased new media fake media and you know bum ego is pushing this agenda why so he can you know panhandle to get out of his mom's basement these guys don't want to be honest these guys don't want to tell the truth tell the truth these guys don't want to be real but we're going to be real we're going to be unbiased and we're going to be factual because this is not how i feel this is not an opinion these are facts rick glacier even states that they're going to be giving away free tickets starting wednesday as the mgm's um you know, basically, the modus operandi um, is wanting to show that there's a lot of people in the seats. So when they show the arena, there may be a lot of people, but they're going to give away tickets. This is coming from Rick Glacier, not me. Uh, you know, this is not how I feel. This is not what I think is going to happen since they have set such poor ticket sales. They're going to give away tickets like they did in the last Wilder fight against Tyson Fury. This is the biggest fight of his career, and they're giving away thousands of tickets. Let's be honest and unbiased. Of course, they're going to give it away against Luis Ortiz. This is a flop. This is a financial disaster. And you can't expect anything different from the PBC or their fanboys to promote this and act like this garbage fight is the face of boxing. Once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP.